you're joining me and Belina today from the side view of our little hut that's on the property. We call it the Hexenhäuschen, which is, means the little witch's hut. Uh, because one day I'm going to show you how the door creaks. It's really scary and sort of haunted sounding. Anyway, I'm, I'm joining you today just because even though I'm in my grubbies and I've been out working in the yard and in the barn, not looking my best, I wanted to touch base with you before I left town. I'm going to Edinburgh on Sunday to see my daughter who's got a uh, work conference there and presentations and I get to join her and just hang out when she has time. So I won't have time next week to do anything regarding Inktober Tangles. If you don't know what Inktober Tangles is, please go watch Barbara Buford Langston's wonderful to, uh, YouTube that she just did. Um, she did a couple of them. In fact, she's so organized about what it is. And of course, she's doing a project and I thought I would do my own project with you. I haven't got a lot of time to devote to this, so I'm gonna make it really organic, really, not organic, organically grown, meaning it's gonna be very much like a Zentangle thing. I am not gonna have a template. We're gonna just use Crazy Huggins as a string and we will work about three tangles a day, every few days, because I just don't have enough time to devote uh, to, to every single day to making a video. So I hope you join me for Inktober Tangles. It will be so much fun to push ourselves and challenge ourselves. I don't know many of the tangles that are listed on the prompts, so I, I will enjoy learning those. I've taken part in Inktober Tangles personally on my own several years, not as long as it's been going on, but um, definitely for three or four years running. And last year I did a few, but I didn't really finish because I also didn't have the time. This year I am devoted to doing every single tangle. So with that, I want you to know I'm, the only thing I am planning about this besides the string is I'm going to get a list together for you. I want to do fall colors with the rich tone and tone of things like sepia and um, caput mortum and henna and Indian red. Uh, they're, they're all the, the color pencils that I use whenever I teach my tangled um, ribbons classes on the opus tile, Renaissance style. Now, I'm still unpacking and I have not found my opus tiles yet and I don't have time to order them uh, from here. So I probably am going to be using Strathmore tan tone tiles unless my husband can unearth the box uh, that those opus tiles are in. In any case, we can use what we have. You can even make your own background with uh, white paper and tea dye or coffee dye or distress ink oxides just we want to have that background be sort of uh, that brownish uh, tan color uh, like the renaissance tiles all right so i hope you join me for this challenge and have a lot of fun with inktober tangles 2023 Oh, I, I'd like to give a, a shout out to um, Stephanie Jennifer, who has so exquisitely organized this this for our Tangle community for the last seven years, I believe. She's the one that started it. And she always chooses a wonderful list of Tangles that are both, um, they're varied with gridded as well as organic Tangles. There's centerpiece Tangles. There's just all variations that you can use in your daily tangling practice. So I do wanna say thank you so much to her for giving us this opportunity to try to come together um, again as a community and make art and be creative and have fun. So thank you, Stephanie.